developments now in the search for Jimmy Hoffa. A dig is underway right now in Oakland Township for the Teamsters boss who disappeared back in 1975. And we have live Team 7 coverage of that dig, the investigation, and a timeline of events. Let's begin with 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo. Heather, you have been out there all day long. What can you tell us? Well, we are at the intersection of Buell Road and Adams. Take a look right over here, right behind me. You can see this is still a very active scene. There are FBI agents and Oakland County Sheriff deputies all over the place. And of course, everyone is hoping this is finally the lead the FBI has been waiting for. The search started early this morning. Crime scene tape marking the spot where FBI agents were soon using shovels to dig into the earth. They were looking for the remains of legendary former Teamsters president Jimmy Hoffa, who vanished nearly 38 years ago. By midday, FBI special agent in charge Robert Foley was only able to confirm his agents were executing a search warrant related to the disappearance of Hoffa. Because this investigation is an open investigation, and because the search warrant is sealed, I will not be able to provide any additional details regarding our activity here this morning. However, if information does become available, to the extent that we can share it, we certainly will. The property on Buell Road near Adams in Oakland Township once belonged to suspected mob boss Jack Toko. Hoffa was last known to be meeting with mafia members at a restaurant in Bloomfield Township. After years of dead ends, the feds have a new lead. This man, Anthony Joseph Zarelli, is saying Hoffa was bound and gagged, hit over the head with a shovel, and then buried alive on the Toko land. No doubt about it. There used to be a barn in the field, buried under the barn under a cement slab, and that's where our understanding is that the body should be. Attorney David Chasnick spoke on behalf of Zarelli today. Zarelli was in prison at the time of Hoffa's disappearance, but federal agents say he was once second in command of the Detroit mob. This is a man with credibility. This is a man that would be in the know. This is not some random guy who said, oh, I think he's buried there. This was a person intimately involved with some of the players who would be well informed as to where the body would be placed. Today, both neighbors and law enforcement alike are hoping Hoffa's family will finally learn the truth. It's my fondest hope that we can give that closure not just to the Hoffa family, but also to the community. I, I just wish it would be put to rest for the family. Now we're back live, and you should be able to see a backhoe moving around back there at the site of this dig. Now, according to Anthony Zarelli's manuscript, this was not the final destination allegedly for Hoffa's body. It was going to allegedly be moved to Roger City, but that never happened because of all the media attention at the time. The FBI intends to search until at least dark tonight and again possibly tomorrow because at last check, they had not found what they were looking for. Reporting live in Oakland Township, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. Heather, how much do we know about about Zarelli's interaction with the FBI. Well, according to his lawyer, he has met with the FBI, but he has not had to take a polygraph to find out if this information is in fact true, if he's telling the truth, but he obviously has met with them. They are out here searching. All right, well, we should know soon enough, you think. Heather, thank you very much. Well, the FBI has done numerous searches for Hoffa's remains over the years. Some question the wisdom of spending tax dollars on such an old case. Others are skeptical of the information that prompted today's dig in the first place. Yeah, Summit Action News investigator Scott Lewis joins us now with that part of the story. Scott, there are obviously some skeptics out there. Well, no question about it, Jeff. I think everybody is curious about what happened to Jimmy Hoffa. It's really one of America's greatest crime mysteries. But some are saying, enough already. The tip that sparked this latest dig comes from Anthony Zarilli, the 85-year-old son of a reputed former mob boss. Zarilli was in prison when Hoffa disappeared in 1975. Even though he was in prison at the time Hoffa went missing, he would have been in a position to uh, have been told what happened. And that's his story. But the feds have chased down so many dead-end leads before, most recently when they tore up a driveway in Roseville looking for Hoffa's remains last September. They found nothing but dirt. Some question why the feds are spending so much money on a 37-year-old case where the people involved are very likely dead. I wonder about, you know, all this money being spent on this. It's very, there's so many other things we could spend money on, but it's, it's a good story. 
But Keith Corbett, a former federal prosecutor who ran the organized crime strike force in Detroit, says the FBI has an obligation to follow up on credible leads. We don't do a cost-benefit analysis in criminal investigations. We try to find out what happened. Uh, you know, the FBI agents are going to get paid whether they're here or somewhere else. But how credible is this latest tip? Zarilli has written a manuscript about his inside Hoffa information. And while the feds were breaking ground looking for Hoffa's remains, Zarilli's attorney was promoting this website where you can buy the manuscript and autograph photos of Zarilli. The lawyer insists this is not about Zarilli cashing in. The FBI wouldn't have got a full warrant and affidavit and gone this far if it was just minute details. There's specific information that lead them to believe that the body is, the remains are there. They're using some high-tech equipment, some heavy-duty equipment like back haulers, and also some good old-fashioned hand shovels for this dig, I'm told. A source says the original site was about 10 feet by 20 feet, but that could be expanded if necessary. Reporting live from Oakland Township, Scott Lewis, 7 Action News. Jeff and Joanne, yeah, back to you. Yeah, I hope we find out something soon. Scott, thank you very much.